Welcome to another edition of What's Up with K9. Uh, I am actually on location. I uh, left this morning, uh, it was snowing, and uh, via the magic of travel, uh, landed on the beach here. So I figured why not do a podcast and show you guys the latest and greatest uh, with K9. So this is going to be um, things that came up on 016, but also things that are coming up in 017, uh, which have yet to release. Uh, so here, the view that we are looking at is the new view, uh, which is called the pulses view, that basically allows you to have a, you know, an overall view of what's going on with your cluster. And in this case here, I can see that my cluster is not in the happy state, right? I've got uh, deployments that are showing me two deployments are happy uh, and one is not too happy. And replica sets, three of them are, uh, are happy, but one of them is not right uh, so those are the significance of those numbers here on the dials up here and then also on the graphs i can see my pods i've got uh, 12 of them are happy one is unhappy that's why we're seeing the red bar and likewise we're seeing events uh, that indicates things are not happy as well so if i navigate it to uh, you know either of those views but let's say the pod view I can actually see that I've got uh, one of my pods that is in a uh, poor back-off state where one of the containers is not happy and didn't start correctly, right? So one feature that was there in uh, 016 was the ability to actually zoom in uh, into errors. Uh, so if I do, uh, you know, control Z for zoom, I will now see all the resources in that view that are not in a happy state, right? This is a toggle. So if I hit uh, Control Z again, I, I will toggle back to the original view, right? So if I navigate it to this part here, and so let's take a look at what's up. Uh, you know, I know the container is not happy. So if I describe this part and went to the bottom here, look at events, uh, I can actually see that uh, it is an image pool error. And also can see that I've got uh, the wrong image here, like a typo on that image. So something didn't happen correctly. All right. so. Let's go back to the part, uh, deployment view. And here's the deployment again that we can also see the replica set is not in a happy state. Right, so either one of those are not uh, cool. Uh, so if I go back to my deployments and let's go ahead and fix the deployment here image. Uh, so if I navigate it here and fix the image and saved. Uh, then I should be able to get back to a happy state. So if I go back to the pulses view here, I should now see that my uh, deployments, my replica sets and my pods are now uh, cool, right? So I can tab over to events and same deal, you know, I can control Z here uh, to basically see that, uh, you know, the errors that were uh, caused by the failure uh, in terms of events, right? So this is one thing that I wanted to show you uh, that was released in 016. Uh, so if I want to navigate back to the pod view, we can actually see that uh, my pods are now back to happy. And here we also added this feature, Control W, to basically allows us to see wide column uh, versus not. So this works as a toggle as well to get more information like labels and things like that, right? So one of the things that folks have um, voiced before was, uh, you know, what are you showing metrics uh, when the cluster doesn't have any metrics. So I fixed that in 017. So if your cluster no longer doesn't have any metric server running, I will no longer show and volunteer uh, you know, the metrics columns like the CPU, the memory, and so forth. So again, I apologize for the sound. It is very windy here. Uh, so hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Um, so for people that have been using K9s for a while, you may actually notice a little something a little bit weird about this view, right? It's not following the convention of what we had with kubectl, which you know, typically K9 uh, followed all of those columns, right? So the, the columns here are a little bit different. So I added this feature in 017 coming up. Again, uh, don't uh, zoom on the name of the file here this may actually change uh, when i release it but under the k9's home directory there's now going to be a new configuration file that allows me to customize those views right the, the way this works is by using uh, the jvr for uh, uh jvr sorry for uh, the resource so uh, you know group version resource name and here for example in my pod view 
actually can see that I've defined custom columns, right? Uh, so this follows the order in which they are uh, displayed here. So if I was to, uh, you know, let's say move the node, uh, you know, before the age or something like that, and I was to save it, we can now see that the view up here, you know, did, uh, you know, change. So if I, you know, shift N, uh, sorry, shift, uh, yeah, shift N on name, I can actually, um, you know, sort the column and then send, send the alarm age and so forth. So this works the same as before. However, now, you know, I have the ability to either hide or show columns. And again, you know, the control W will still work because it is based on all the available columns. So whatever you can customize will now show in the wide uh, view. But also now, if I was to say, for example, uh, I'm not interested in seeing nodes and I want to move the namespace uh, maybe here and let's say I want to move the age as the first column here and if I save that now we get to see the completely reordered uh, columns and view so be careful with this uh, I'm not really sure you know how well I am handling things like uh, Fred, you know, being a column that does not exist. I believe I show a toast uh, status here. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, even worse, actually. <laughs> Bomb. So I'll fix that, but you know, you should be able to now customize your views uh, based on uh, your desire. Uh, ordering here. So I hate to, to end the podcast on the bomb. So let's go back up. Uh, you know, if I change the, fix the error here. And, uh, you know, now we should be back here to the pod view and be able to see, uh, you know, the columns in that order. So again, this is coming up. This is, I want to thank everybody for voicing, uh, you know, that issue. Uh, I know this has been, uh, you know, around in the canine issues for a while. I just didn't get around to really address it, but I believe we are there now. So my laptop is going to run off batteries uh, pretty soon. I do want to take a picture of where I'm at right now and share it with you guys because it's really cool. Uh, I hope the sound is okay. Um, you know, it's not as windy as it was earlier, so hopefully you guys can hear me okay. And I want to thank you again for tuning in and I want to thank you for your continued support and enthusiasm uh, relating to K9. I'll catch you guys on the next show. Uh, have a great day and uh, thank you again for tuning in. Bye.